This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. <laughs> Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schomer, and today starts the Thanksgiving episodes. What's this? We g- That's what I do when I get lost. Is that your turkey feathers? Yeah, this is my turkey feathers. So, oh, okay. what we're going to do is we're going to start the week with some turkey-type cocktails. No turkey, actually, in them. Uh, we got wild turkey. That'd be kind of nasty. I was thinking maybe we could do one with meat. <laughs> Muddled turkey. Muddled turkey. Oh. So gravy. Um, no. So we're going to do at least three, more than three turkey cocktails because, or, or at least let's call them Thanksgiving cocktails for those that don't have Thanksgiving. It's uh, it's an American thing, I think. But I'm sure you guys have something over there, wherever over there happens to be. When you killed over. Indians and then ate yeah. with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... We're going to do that throughout the week. Even on Sunday, we'll have a little little turkey thing going on. But, hey, that's what we do. We've got to record five episodes. Might as well get crazy. Did you say what this was? Nope. I was about to, though. Turkey feather cocktail. This recipe comes from sofakingdrunk.com, and it's got one quarter ounce of amaretto, one half ounce of drambuie, and two ounces of bourbon. I so have a lot of drambuie recipes. No. That's why I saw this, and I was like, it's got the word turkey, it's got drambuie, it's got to get done. Drambuie's kind of good. <laughs> Sell it. Uh, uh, so. Isn't that the one we went to that party when we went to? Um, yep. We had only Drambuie cocktails. Yeah. Yes. I think I had some that were okay. Drambuie was <laughs> sponsoring. Yeah. Yeah. I guess when you're sponsoring, you can have your own cocktails. And I don't think any of them were really crazy. It was much better than the beef eater one. Yeah. I wasn't too fond of that. No. I don't think I liked any. And they had Kapari and Beef Eater. What a horrible drink. Yeah, I try and forget that night happened. Um, I, the thing I think was really good about that, at least the drinks that we did when they went through the ingredients, is none of them seemed like they were really crazy. Like there was nothing that yeah. I could recall that was like out out there. And, and they gave you a cigar. Yeah, that's true. And the, the problem I have with a lot of these cocktails and why I don't publish them or do a lot of the drinks, I feel bad telling people how great they can make whatever brand of... Because it's usually a spirit sends me press releases with, here's the drinks for this holiday and that holiday and this, and did you know it's National Something Something Month? And, and when you look at them, nobody in our audience could create these drinks. They're, they require all these crazy ingredients. So you can't even get the ingredients. If, yeah, if I can't get them and I've got all this... And it's not the spirit. Well, it's not the, yeah, it's not the alcohol. It's, it's, the, it's all the crazy the stuff they throw in there. that goes along with it. The, I mean, lychee fruit's getting there, but then they get, because you can get that in some place, some countries, I think. But they just get so outrageous that it's like, I don't know who you're trying to sell this to, but make a normal common drink that other people can have, and I'll make it for the show, and other people will be able to get the ingredients. It's not asking too much. It is. All right, let's shake that up. And those hardcore mixologists are like, but this is a craft, and this is great. Craft it at your bar, your cocktail place, but don't try and press release it thinking other people can make it, because they can't. That's all I'm saying. I don't say don't make it, just don't think we're going to. All right, so. You're off your soapbox? Yeah, I'm done with my soapbox for now. My ring's all sticky because I poured that lemon juice across my hand. It burns. It smells really good. Nice aroma. This is like one of those, and it's it's got the classy aroma. It's not like a juicy, tropical thing. It doesn't have, let's say, if you brought in St. Germain's elderflower, which is over here, you get the elderflower, right? You're getting that aroma from that drink, but all of these ingredients are bringing a piece of the aroma to, the, to your nose. I think there's some drink buoy. It smells really nice. Got some bourbon in there. I got that nice oak. Oh, that is, I don't know, it's got a really neat flavor to it. Kind of boring looking, but. Kind of cool name, Drambuie. Mm. 
I mean, it's not that bad. You gotta really garnish this one up because it doesn't have a lot of flair to it. Put a turkey feather in there. Wash it first. <laughs> mm. This is very classy and smooth. If you like Drambuie, it's got a little bit of that. Not a lot of bit of amaretto going on though. Maybe a, maybe a t just a hint. It's only a quarter ounce of amaretto, but there's not that much in here to begin with. There's only what, two, two and a half, almost, maybe almost three ounces. But it's flavorful. It's got the bourbon. It's warming for those that are looking for, you know, they got the big turkey. They're sitting down watching, I don't know, what do you do? Football, turn on the. Definitely. I'm sure the Cowboys are playing, right? Yes, Dallas. Dallas. So you get. So you no, get a, is it Dallas? Or Detroit. It's Detroit. Oh, Lions? I thought it was Dallas. No, you're out of Lions. I think it's the Lions. So, very warming, very holiday in that way. Nice warming cocktail. It's got some spices in there, so, you know, around the holidays, they tend to bring in more spicy things. No crazy peppermint, cinnamons, or anything. It's just got a nice... That's for Christmas. Yeah, but it's, it's got a nice warming spice to it. And the wild turkey doesn't doesn't do so bad in here. I, I'm kind of liking how it works out. Bourbon, warm spicing, fun, tasty, classy looking, perfect. Holiday feather, not sure where the feather part comes from unless you garnish it with said feather. Don't care. It's a tasty little cocktail. You used wild turkey. Yes. It didn't call for wild turkey, per, but I figured it's got a turkey on it. There you go. Come on, common sense. So use your favorite bourbon if that's what you want to do. Stick, but I say stick with holidays and go get some wild turkey. Probably the best time of year this stuff sells, I bet. That's just complete nonsense. Nonsense. EverydayDrinkers.tv, we're teaching you how to drink.